Okay, welcome to the exponents outcome, outcome A3. We're just going to jump right in with some fractional exponents. Okay, here's our first slide. Oh my goodness, what a mess across the top. Uh, that's what you're going to see in your textbook. Uh, but we're going to see that it's actually quite easy uh, once we see some examples. So here's two examples. Uh, I'm going to do part A, and uh, why don't you go ahead and do part B in a moment. So part A, I'm going to take this exponent here, 12 to the power of 2 sevenths, and rewrite it in radical form. To do that, the large number inside the radical, which by the way we call a radicand, is going to be 12. The index of the radical, the little number out front, is 7. And finally the exponent is 2. So what this is saying is it's the seventh root of 12 to the power of 2. I'd like you to take a moment right here to pause and attempt question B. So pause now. Okay, now that you're back, uh, here we go. The answer you should get is that this is the square root of 34 to the power of 5. Well, it's not the square root of 34, sorry. It's the 12th root of 34 to the power of 5. Okay, and we can also go forwards with this. So we can convert the square root of 5 to the power of 3 into exponent form. In fact, that will be 5 to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, why don't you pause now and try B. Okay, here we go. We're back. Uh, so hopefully you've had a chance to do that. It's going to be A to the power of 3 over 5. Okay, so that's how we convert between different right Let's actually use this to answer a question here. We're asked to evaluate 27 to the power of 1 third. Well, 27 to the power of 1 third, if I write it in radical form, it's equal to 20, the square root sign, 27. And it's actually the third root of 27 with an exponent of 1. Well, that exponent of 1 actually has no impact, and so this is really just the same thing as the cube root of 27. Now, the cube root of a number is a, is a number such that when you multiply it by itself and then you multiply it again by itself, you arrive at that original number. So, in fact, this is 3, since 3 times 3 times 3 gives us 27. Okay, let's try another one. Uh, let's evaluate 25 to the power of 1 half. I'd like you to pause right now and try that. Okay, welcome back. So hopefully you've had a chance to, to get this done. Here we go. This is the same thing as the second root or the square root of 25 to the power of 1. Okay, well, two things here. The square root and an index of 2 are actually the same thing. So we don't need to write that index of 2. And this exponent of 1, well, that has no impact either. So in fact, all we have is the square root of 25, and that is 5. Let's move on to the next example. Okay, next one here. Uh, we were asked to raise 4 ninths to the power of 1 half. So here we go. Uh, this is the same thing as saying the second root or the square root of 4 over 9 to the power of 1. Once again, that index of 2 is unnecessary. It's the same thing as just saying a square root. And the exponent of 1 is unnecessary. So now that gives me the square root of 4 over 9. And, of course, that is two-thirds. Okay, why don't you try the next one here? Nine to the power of three halves. Why don't you pause now? Okay, welcome back. Here we go. Uh, let's see what we do here. We're going to do the second root of nine to the power of three, or, in other words, the square root of nine to the power of three. That is three to the power of three. And that gives you 27. 27 to the power of 2 thirds. Please pause now and take a try. So pause. All right, welcome back. We're going to say that this is equal to the cube root of 27 squared. Well, the cube root of 27, which we have seen earlier, is actually 3. So then we have 3 squared. And 3 squared, well, 3 times 3 is, of course, 9. And so that's our answer. 
Okay, for our last question of uh, the lesson, uh, this is 25 over 49 to the exponent of 3 halves. Good luck. Pause it now. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. Uh, this is the same thing as writing the second root or the square root of 25 over 49 and then raising that to the power of 3. Well, the square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 49 is 7, so now we have 5 over 7 cubed, 5 over 7 to the power of 3. Well, this is going to take a little bit of mental arithmetic here for me, or let's see. 5 times 5 times 5 gives me 125, and 7 times 7 times 7, that's 343. And so there, ladies and gentlemen, is the final answer to our question. Thanks for watching.